Start Answers Workbench from the Start menu. So I'm going to start all programs. Answers 14, I'll use 14.0 and Workbench. Twiddle your thumbs for a few moments while the Workbench window comes up. And we will, so there are various analysis systems available. We are going to do a static structural analysis where we'll solve for the equilibrium of the structure. So drag static structural into the project page. And double click on the name here and give it an appropriate name without making any typos. And once you're done, you can hit enter. Okay. And then we will go into engineering data and specify the Young's modulus and Poisson ratio um, that will be used later. So double click on engineering data that brings up the engineering data page and you should see static structural okay and if you go into static structural so you might see something like this um, and if you expand linear elastic which is the model that we will be using um, and look at isotropic elasticity it brings up this um, window over here where you have the Young's modulus and this is given in um, Pascal's we'll be working in PSI so to get the corresponding value in PSI you can click here and select PSI Okay, so that's 2.9 e to the power of 7 PSI, which is the value that we'll be using. Noting that the, um, the, the non-dimensionalized maximum deflection that we'll be calculating is independent of this, this value um, when you look at the non-dimensionalized result. So this is, uh, so we have this available, this Young's modulus and Poisson ratio available through structural steel to be inserted into our model later. So click return to project and let's save the project and save it in an appropriate folder, whatever folder you choose and give it an appropriate name. I'll call it 2D underscore B. And if you go into that folder, you will see that, you know, it creates this file, this .wbpj file, and this folder. And you need both of these to, to you know, uh, resume your, <clears throat> your job. 